Hi everyone, in this particular tutorial, we'll actually learn uh, how to uh, start linking pages. Okay, now if you see on your right hand side, on under the files, I've actually defined a website called uh, RATM, and these are all my files. Okay, I have got some new files for images which I'll be using it later, but as of now, I have this five pages. Right now, I'm on the home page, and my, and my plan is that on this top we have this navigation panel and I'll start linking each each one of the page with this particular panel so we will first select home and we'll link it basically with the page so we'll drag this to home page okay we'll make sure this this selected to home page we'll connect members now we'll select members and connect it with members we'll select political views and connect this with political views all right, we'll select media and we'll connect this with media. All right, we'll select contact and we'll connect this with contact. Okay, now as you have seen the last exercise, we've actually have made each of the, each of the pages. So if you double click on each page, it will open a different page altogether, although there's hardly any content right now. But yeah, so links are done. If we save this file and we preview this in the browser, okay. So we have this links, okay? If we click on it, it will open the page, all right? So basically what I did is just connected all the HTML pages together with the home page. We will have this panel, this navigation panel in all the pages later on, but to begin with, we are connected, all right? Now let's do some basic formatting, okay? This is a plain website, it's got nothing with this. So to start off, you know, you have the CSS styles, which, are, which will come to later, okay but to begin with what most people do is that they do some basic formatting okay now we don't need to do this but I'm just showing you that this is how people start all right but we don't need to do this we actually can go straight to CSS and start coding on CSS but to basically make you understand what are the different properties that can be applied on a page let me explain to you so we are on a page and all we have is some links and some text okay and we have formatted those text on different headings okay we can do this further by clicking on page properties now we have this basic options that we can apply okay for example in appearances we can change the text color okay we can change the background image or background color so if I change the background color from here okay and apply this is what happens okay uh, we can change the text color maybe we make it white so all the text color changes Okay, um, let's try an image. I have downloaded an image for uh, Rage Against the Machine. Uh, so this is my background image. Okay, and I click OK, apply. I got a background image. All right. Now what else can I do? Oh, we have something called repeat here. If you're not sure if their image is good is big enough to take the entire length of your present screen resolution, and you don't want to repeat, by default it repeats. Which means that if the image is not able to fill the screen, it will start tiling itself. Okay, so this is one. So this is one. So another thing which I wanted to show you is that you can obviously choose a font from here. You have different font families here. If I choose a particular font family, it will go with the font family. All right. Okay. So there's something which I wanted to show you, which is links. Okay. This is very simple to understand. Thing you have four different states of a link. Okay. You have something called link. We can change it. Suppose we make it green. Yeah, can you see the change? All right. So we have a link color of green. There's something called rollover link, which means when the mouse goes over the link, it will change to a, this particular color only temporarily. So we'll make it white. Okay. Visited link pages which you have already seen. Okay. If you can change it to say blue, then we would know that we have gone to this page. That's another state. The active link, on the other hand, is when you when you're clicking it. It's only the temporary phase when you are actually clicking it. Okay, so we can do see something very dramatic like red. Okay, now let's see how it looks. We'll save it and we will preview it in the browser. All right, this is our page. Thankfully, the whole image is not repeating because uh, you know it can is able to take the whole of the page. Now you can see what's happening here. We have when you move the mouse, it changes to white. It was a rollover link color. And when we're clicking it, I haven't released the mouse yet, okay? I'm clicking it. It's showing me a red for a temporary point. If I go to it, all right, and I come back to it, 
alright so this is how it works all these blue ones have been visited before if I go to media and come back you can see it become it will become blue because we have gone to this link once before so it is a visited property which is applying right now in all the pages all right let's come back to a dream viewer page okay now let's see what's happening here in the CSS styles we have all the styles made okay and we made all of them through this page property but believe me we haven't used the CSS to its true potential precisely because if we actually go to this we hardly get too many options for example when it comes to background let's go to body and see what more options do we get here if we click on background if we click on body here okay and we look into the background okay now you can see there's so many options here which is which is not available in the page properties because page properties is not really applying the full potential of a CSS here we are editing the present rule on body and in CSS and it gives me so much of options here first of all I will insist that I don't want to repeat if there is any chance okay so now at 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 any point of time it will not repeat okay if you look here it's more interesting it's something called fixed and scroll which means that if there is more content and you are actually scrolling down the background will also scroll by default if we click on fixed the background won't scroll the text will scroll so this gives a very cool depth kind of an effect you know so this looks cool all right now what to do with the with the position if you are repeating only on x axis or y axis you'll be using this particular option all right now let's see how it looks i'll click apply and okay okay and if i save and i preview in firefox okay now if i resize this thing okay if i make it a smaller window all right now you can see when i'm scrolling the image in the background stays where it is this is what i was talking about fixed sounds looks really cool right now let's see what more options do we get in the link now we have this four styles and we can see what more we can do with this okay let's go to link all right we can change the color that's one okay so let's keep it the, the link color as white let's make some changes okay let's and we can apply text decoration none it will have no decoration whatsoever no underline nothing okay we'll apply and if everything goes away we don't want the underline all right now let's close it let's go to visit it okay we can change the visited color all right once it visits we'll make it green okay and no text decoration apply okay hover okay now let's do something cool here let's have a background of black so when the mouse is over it it is black okay and the text color is white and no text decoration apply okay active the, the red thing we're talking about let's have the same thing okay let's have it red only it looks cool okay now let's save it and we have applied a lot more css properties to each of these things now okay let's preview it okay so we have certain new things we applied here my whole funda of the, the stuck background in the back stays the way it is I can scroll down with no problem now let's see what happens here can you see it is having a black background the text is changing to white now that is that hover link that is working right now when once we click it it's red for a state because that is the state of the active and we leave the mouse and we go back to the go to a new page altogether all right now this is something which we have done so far we have managed to create some basic styles and then re-edited them using the CSS panel okay we have managed to put the background as a fixed background so what coming next is that we will now stylize specific areas of the web page so that is basically we're getting into CSS styles altogether from this point on